Yes, so I'm the Master of Music at Norwich Cathedral and that means I have oversight really of all of the music that takes place in the cathedral throughout the year. Um, principally it involves training the cathedral choirs. My favourite aspect of the job is the fact that the day starts and finishes with music. I begin every day working with the choristers here who are such an energetic, talented and enthusiastic bunch of children and the satisfaction I get from working with them and seeing them achieve their potential and learn so much about music so quickly um, is immensely rewarding. And then at the other end of the day we finish our day with a service of choral song in the cathedral and whatever else has gone on during the day to have the privilege of making music and singing wonderful repertoire in such a glorious space and working with um, such a talented group of singers um, is immensely rewarding um, and first and foremost I'm a musician and I love making music and so to have one's working day bookended by the chance to do that is a, a great privilege. It's important to remember that music has been part of the cathedral's history and heritage right since the time it was founded. The choral tradition that exists in English cathedrals traces its roots right back to um, those early um, monastic foundations, um, which would have been centred around the singing of the, the daily offices um, by, by monks originally. Um, but then, um, moving on a little bit, um, you, when you come to the time of the Reformation, that's when um, uh, boy choristers um, were introduced into, um, into choirs like this. And so it's a very historic tradition. Um, but it's also something that's really relevant and alive um, and developing today. And I think that's the really important message to get across, that um, for people coming into this amazing building and this amazing space here, um, the music really helps the building to come alive. You know, the, the, the stones really here have, have resonated with the sound of choral and sacred music right since they were built. And so the combination of the, the music and the building um, and the liturgy um, is, a, is a very special one. And I think the special thing about sacred music in this context is that people can come and they can take away from it whatever they want. Um, there's a chance for people just to sit um, and listen and reflect and they may have come as a tourist to see the building or they may have come specifically to worship at a service or they may have come just to listen to the music and all of those things are fine um, and welcome and we never quite know what people take from it um, and so it really is a living tradition um, that is, is as much a part of the cathedral's future as it is a part of the cathedral's heritage.